Sarah trying to write song number 11. Let's see what beat we should start with. So usually what I do, I'll grab uh, like a blast beat or a D beat and then just try to suss out what what feels right for today. I was kind of thinking about starting a song with um, with just like a snare roll type of thing and some accents. So let's see if we can work that out. Okay, so we should have a snare roll here. Add some... Let's see, okay, this should be cool. And after that, should probably just go into a regular old last beat. Alright, I already have ideas. This is good. This is like the only thing I'm good at in the world, so it's nice when it comes together. Maybe we'll go into a DB. This isn't like a real DB necessarily, but it's closer to the style of like beat that John plays, so that's what we'll use here. Okay, cool. Let's see how this sounds. now is do I half it or double it? Let's see how halfing it sounds. Riff now. I need to program some different variations. Riff 2. Let's 
see what we can do for a uh, Riff 3. Question is more blast, less blast, more DB. What do I do? Just take another blast B. idea for the ending, I'll probably just do the first part of that riff. Dun, 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 dun. Cool. Yeah, man. So from there, got however many riffs, and now I just arrange them. Right now, it looks like the video is at 20 minutes and 33 seconds. So that's about usually as long as it takes to write the riffs, and then... <laughs> Give me five minutes to arrange it, and uh, we got a new Noisy Neighbor song, boys. Let's see if we can get a little bit of screen action here. Alright, so...
this needs better programming, so... So that's the song. Now I just have to play bass and uh, tab it. So 